Hospitals across the country are bracing for what they say may be a bad winter. The big concern right now is respiratory viruses resurfacing as things get cold outside. The last two years heavily focused on COVID. Well, this year flu is expected to make a dangerous comeback as well. The CDC says that there have already been more than 1,000 flu cases so far this season. And Dr. Kristen England is a infectious disease specialist at the Cleveland Clinic, and she is joining us from Ohio this morning uh, with some more information on how we can best prepare for this. So Mitch and I were just talking here in the break, doctor, about the last couple of years, and we've heard this term twindemic. Well, we, we didn't really see it. So why why this year do we think um, that we may get a double whammy? Well, a couple of reasons for that. Good morning. So we certainly know that uh, when when people are going out nowadays, whether it's to school, to work, whether out shopping, they're not wearing masks as much as they used to and not using necessarily the social distancing or, or sand sanitizing. So we've kind of let our guard down here for a while over the summer, but we need to get ourselves back in gear for that as we're entering this respiratory virus season. We also know that over the last couple of years, we have not been seeing influenza because we have been masking. So many of our, our younger, youngest in our, in our communities, our children, have not either been exposed to the virus or they've not been vaccinated. So they're really at risk for getting influenza this season. You know, it's always a challenge for doctors come flu season to convince people to get the flu shot. There are some people who have never gotten it, some people who have lots of reasons uh, to not do so. Um, do you find that after a couple of years of the pandemic that that mentality is changing at all? How do you convince people who have never gotten it to before to get it this year? Well, I, I think just simply letting people know the risks, not only to themselves, but to the children uh, and to those that are, you know, also at risk, They're the older in our in our communities as well, really trying to appeal to their sense that it's not only just protecting you, but it's really protecting everyone in your family and in the community as well. You know, one thing I'm curious about, I had COVID, so many of us have had COVID at some point. Um, how does that impact our immune system if we are to get the flu? Do we even know yet? So we don't. We certainly know that COVID itself um, is not going to protect you against influenza and vice versa. So they're very different viruses. So you do need protection against both, whether it be from natural immunity, from having gotten the infections, but also uh, boosting your immunity by getting vaccines to both of them. So we certainly know that if it, it's possible to get COVID and influenza at the same time, uh, that's really the double whammy. And that would be that would be devastating. Well, we don't want to see that. I'm boosted and I plan on getting my flu shot next week. Dr. England, great to have you this morning. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.